This is a five pack of laser engraving marking paper. I received this to review for free. Normally it would cost you $20 for the five pack. They haven't paid me for my review, so my opinions are my own. So these pieces of paper go on like a water decal. Um, they actually apparently have a couple in the bag and a couple out of the bag. I'm not sure why some of these were not in the bag to begin with. Um, it looks like what they're doing is they're separating these out so the black sides don't touch. So you have the two white sides touching, you have the white side here touching the black side there. Um, and this is a, you know, kind of a multicolored black material. And what this is for is if you have a low power laser engraver, there's certain things you just can't engrave, you know, so like porcelain um, or metal, the laser just doesn't have enough power to engrave those. But what it can do is it can melt something, especially if the something is black. So my understanding, and there's no instruction included, is that you get this wet and you slide it off like a water application decal. You slide it onto the thing you want to engrave, you dry it off on it, and then you laser engrave on top of it. And it melts this material to your surface and marks it. Um, and then you come back after the fact and you kind of mechanically remove all of the stuff that's not laser engraved on your surface. And the idea here is this is for lower power laser diode engraving. You know, if you have a 100 watt CO2 laser, you can probably just cut into the surface of most of these surfaces. Um, so we're gonna give this a shot with a low power laser engraver and see how well it works and see if I can figure out some settings that work well. So the first step is to cut this to size, and I'm going to cut two pieces to go on either side of this logo here. Step two is to soak it in water and transfer it over. Wow, that curled a lot. I put that in there and that just instantly curled. There's also little bubbles coming off of it. Let's try the other one here. Yeah, look at that thing curl when I put that in. Now I'm using warm water. I hope that's not a problem, but that's what I'm doing because I wanted my fingers not to get super cold here. It's not hot, but it is warm. I'm gonna try to not have these guys touch too much because I don't want them to stick to each other. And I have no idea how long I need to leave this in here, so we're gonna watch it for a while. And have a couple of stainless steel chopsticks to push things around with. All right, so that black thing is coming up here. It's been, you know, probably a minute. And that guy is separating a bit from the edges there. Oh yeah, that's lifting, lifting up nicely. All right, so let's see if I can transfer this over. Oh yeah, that just floated up. Now one problem I ran into is it doubled up under here. All right, I'm just holding this with my fingers. Hopefully it's not toxic, right? And I'm gonna try smoothing this out. This guy to keep it nice and smooth. All right, so that worked okay. Let's see if I can do a better job of this one. I'm going to try and sliding it off the paper Oh yeah, that's the way to do it, just like a decal. Slide it off the paper, it'll move around a little bit under the water. I'm gonna just blot the water away.
getting a few little wrinkles. So I'm going to push to the outside from the middle to try to get rid of some of those wrinkles. Now it still wants to lift up, so we're going to have to let this dry for a while. Alright, that transfer process was pretty easy. I'm going to let this sit and dry try a different service here. This is a Corel plate. We're going to put it on the back there. We'll laser engrave it and then if we get a decent result we'll throw it through the dishwasher and see how well this stuff handles a dishwasher. So this has been sitting in the water for 30 seconds. It's not really ready to separate yet. It's getting close though, that end just peeled up. This end I just saw peel up. So that's 45 seconds. Let's give that a shot at 45 seconds there. Maybe closer to 60 by the time I get it out. I need to unroll this end. All right, yeah, so I'd say 45 to 60 seconds is all you need to separate this guy from the backing paper. Block that down. Rub from the middle out. Holding the other side to keep it from sliding. All right, that stuck on there pretty well. All right, I ended up leaving these guys out overnight, and so they are completely dry on these two objects. All right, I got my laser uh, engraver out, and we are going to try engraving full power here. Here, everybody, use your safety goggles. All right, my little laser diode based engraving laser here took 10 minutes to engrave this guy. And you can see there it says full power on it. So it does look like it melted the black material, hopefully darkening and you know putting that ink, I guess. I'm not sure dye ink color on to this guy here. I'm going to try doing a couple other power levels on this. All right, I'm carving another one that will say half power. Laser's moving a little bit faster, so I'm hopeful that maybe this will get done a little bit uh, faster than 10 minutes. Well, that still took close to about eight minutes. And it looks like it might have flipped over at the very end there. But we have a full power and a half power. The half power is not anywhere near as well defined as the full power one, so I don't think there's a reason to do less than full power here. I'm going to try an icon or an image on the other side. All right, I'm doing a high power carve here with this guy. Um, I've set my carving depth to 60%. And I am smelling off-gassing from this thing. So I'm doing pretty much the full size my little laser engraver can do. All right, it took my little 3-watt laser diode about an hour to do that. Um, I hit this thing with 60% carving depth, 100% power. Apparently the carving depth increases the power or maybe decreases the speed. Um, I'm not sure if it's binding to the metal behind or just completely removing the blackness entirely. So over here I have 
full power, which is only 10% carving depth, and then half power. I'm going to try a super full power, which is this, you know, 100% um, laser power and like 60% depth over here, just to see how that compares when I take everything off. I got several different power settings, picture. Now we have to remove all the black stuff and see what's left behind. Alright, so it didn't not work entirely. It's not great. Um, you're kind of hoping for like a full black pattern here. Really you get kind of a darker pattern that has scrub patterns on it. Um, I'm thinking maybe if I'd let it soak in water it would have come off easier where it wasn't adhered with the laser. So I am going to try laser engraving this guy and then I'm going to soak it in water and see how that works. Clean up our aisle three. All right, I have this guy focused. I have the position where I want it. So that's the bounding box of where I'm going to be engraving. I have the power turned all the way up. So I can get this guy to stand upright. I think it's time to go. So I find my goggles. All right. Safety first. Okay, we have laser engraved the heck out of that. I'm going to go soak this in some water and see if that makes it easier to get out. Alright, I let that soak in water for about 10 minutes or so. Made it real easy to get most of this off, but there's a few pieces here that are still sticking. Alright, that worked pretty darn well. It's not black, it's kind of a gray color, but the definition is very good. So when I first tried this out in the metal, I was not terribly impressed. Um, even here when I was scraping it away, I was scraping away that stuff when I came off. Now here on the porcelain, it worked really well. Um, I think the difference is that I hit it at full power on my three watt laser. So, you know, if you have a carbon uh, dioxide laser that can do, you know, tens of watts, 40, 50, 80, you might have to dial it down a bit. Um, I just did absolute full power I could, and it seems to have fused this to the plate 
pretty well. Now this is definitely on top of the plate. It is not etching down into the plate. So it's taking this black stuff and melting and adhering it to the plate. Um, so I don't know how well it's going to stay on. As you can see, you know, here I scraped it off while I was scraping off the, the black stuff that wasn't fixed. I scraped off some of the regular stuff there. Um, here I soaked it in water for about 10-15 minutes and it came off pretty well leaving this stuff down. So I'm going to run this guy through the dishwasher and if it survives a pass through the dishwasher I'll say it's pretty sturdy. All right, that survived a trip through the dishwasher just fine. Um, I can't guarantee it'll do 100 trips through the dishwasher, but it seems to be dishwasher safe, at least on the first attempt. So it shows up very nicely on this white plate. I think this is a material you're gonna have to play with, you know, get the power settings right, figure out what substrates work really well with it, but it definitely has a place in your arsenal if you have a laser engraver.